Hey guys, Crosser here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is about uh, Lil Uzi Vert, who came to Melbourne just this past uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday? No, last Thursday. Yeah, it's Saturday. He came on Thursday. Really, really fucking good live performance. He uh, came to Melbourne. He was performing at the Forum Theatre. Now, um, here's a wait. Is it the Forum Theatre? I think, or just the Forum? Maybe. I don't know. I might not even be saying it right. Check out this quick video that was posted by the people that actually promoted the tour and, like, I think organized the tour for him. It's, like, a quick minute video, maybe. Quickly check out this. I'll, uh, chuck the link to, like, the original poster down below just so it's not like I'm fully stealing it. To a savage, pocket got fatter, she gon' be daddy. Smoking that gas, gon' like that zany, she on a powder. Nowadays, I am on my head, I got sadder. Money got longer, speaker got louder. I just wanted to sort of show you how lit the tour really fucking was because, like, it was, like, absolutely insane and. I don't know, really good time, still not the best uh, live concert performance I've been to, um, I've been to many, I've been like Vince Staples, Suicide Boys, Lil Yachty, Migos, uh, I'm forgetting heaps of people, I've got Fat Nick coming up, Playboy Cardi, uh, wait, have I seen any of these people, Uzi, Young Thug fucking cancelled, and I haven't seen any of the others. I can't remember who else I've seen. Uzi, one of the better shows I've been to. The mosh wasn't too bad. Like, we stood on the side. I'll get into it in a bit. Um, but yeah, the show was one of the better shows that I've been to. Uh, of like, all the live performances. So definitely would recommend going and seeing Uzi. Because he's definitely a really good live performer. And like I feel like his music is really, really made for live performance and like just the hype of everyone being there enjoying it so first off i went with my friend beth we uh, caught the train up there we got there a little bit late which we were like sort of like oh fuck might struggle to get like a good spot but like we didn't we got there <laughs> late lined up line went quick because i was just pushing people through the doors got my bag searched i was all g uh beth had a chain on her pants like i don't know fashion and the ladies like take it off so obviously we went headed into th to the cloak room like she asked. I got a bunch of Snapchats which I'm gonna put after this um, of like the show because I got a bunch of good, really good shots just for like mosh Snapchat fucking videos. We get into the farm really quick, really really quick. Um, it was a good time. Uh, we go in, go to the left, walk down, and we're literally right at the very side of like where the speakers are, the guardrail, but like. It's hard to explain unless you were there. <laughs> um, technically, technically, the people that got there earlier than us, like first people in line that got to the front of the guardrail, we were technically closer because the guardrail was here and then there was like security here and we were like in, right near them. So technically, by like half a meter, we're closer to the stage. Uh, we're close enough that my friend Beth actually touched a little Uzi. So, here's a clip of that. <laughs> So we waited around, uh, there was a little bit of music, DJ came on, DJ Horizon, it was really good. One one thing that I didn't like about him was the fact that he sped up a lot of the songs, so he brought on like Gucci Gang and like, you know when like Gucci Gang, that first little bit of the song? Like that gets everyone hyped, but this was like too sped up that it like, it was like, what's song? And then it went Gucci Gang and, and, ever, and then everyone picked up on it. But it was just a little too sped up. I know he's probably not watching. If you are, maybe don't speed it up. I don't know. Maybe there's a rule he has to. I don't fucking know what the goal is. Uh, then Uzi came out. He came out on time. Like, frequently on time, you know. Just after he... Like, he was on for 9.30. Probably come on just after. But he's DJ come on at 9.30. So, like, you know, give him that. He performed for, like, 30 to 45 minutes. Which everyone was disappointed about. I really 
didn't even notice that it was that short. He played Exo Tour Life three fucking times. Crowd was hype. The crowd was really good. I stuck around with Beth for the DJ, and then uh, eventually, I sort of as like Uzi came out. He came. He came over, right over to the side where like Beth touched him. That was just as I started to move away. I was probably like a meter away from like Beth, and there was like two people in front of us. He literally came right over and stood on like the speakers that were right in front of us, and he like and then she touched him, and he was right there, and I got footage. Yeah, I don't know, he was just so lit, and then eventually, Uzi set, I just found myself in the second row, I was dead center, second row, and I was fucking dying, and I was just squished, and I was having a time of my life, even though I was getting completely fucked up, crowd was good, Uh, people smoking blunts in there, they're passing it around, which is always, always a good time. Here are the videos that I got on my Snapchat. If you have me on Snapchat, uh, you probably were pissed off. Went for four and a half minutes. Yeah, because I'm that guy. Here are the Snapchats. Uh, quickly perform there. Subscribe, like, and I'll uh, see you guys next video. Bye-bye. I said, is you fucking ready?